What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over some things. We're going over the market. As you guys do know, Super Packs are live, uh, which pretty much means the market is probably in shambles right now. Um, before we do get in this video, please smash that subby button, like it up, comment down below. In this video, guys, this season four, or season one, I should say, season one ends very, very soon. Very, very soon. We're going to give you all the market tips in this video. Stay here, watch it. I'm going to go over everything perfectly. Um, also, if you're new, I buy and sell MT. If you guys need MT, hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're into sports cards, man, I buy and sell sports cards as well. Hit me up for that, Instagram and Twitter, all that good stuff. But anyways, guys, let's get into this. So first off, I actually want to check out a bunch of players because the market is going to be in shambles, guys. Um, if you're new, sub it up, comment, all that good stuff. Every comment will be answered. We got to go over this. All right, this is probably one of the main cards. I want to see if it goes down in value. Kawhi Leonard, Ami. And this one, ooh, this one for 32K. Ah, that's pretty cool. So Kawhi Leonard's down a little bit. Man was at 40,000 MT for so long. Let's check out Mr. Van Fleet. Van Flee finally hit a price going down, down below. That's also good news, man. Fred Van Fleet, um, I feel like he's a good investment. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to continuously watch all these filters, all right? You're going to continuously, continuously watch these filters, see what's going on, see what investments are here. I continuously check out Amethyst players because they're affordable for all, in my opinion. I think Amethyst is a big, there's a big cap between Amethyst and Diamonds, all right? So, try to figure out which amethysts are the best to invest in. There's going to be a lot of amethysts. You got to figure out which ones they're actually worth investing in. Um, for I, I really, in my opinion, I think Lamar Odom and Antoine Jameson are top investments for me. Um, especially for the price. I mean, Lamar Odom is honestly a game changer. He's clamps on defense and he has an amazing, amazing offensive guru. So, I don't know. You got to check out Lamar Odom. You got to keep your eyes on him. I think he's a really good investment if you have the MT. For 29,000 MT, I literally don't think you could go wrong whatsoever. So, I'm actually going to cop this card. This card honestly has the potential to go up to 40,000 plus. I think this night filter right here at Diamond shows both Lamar Odom and Antoine Jameson. Antoine Jameson is another card that's pretty good. But you would have to kind of put him at power forward because he's not going to be too good at small forward. He's going to kind of get destroyed at small forward. I think he's too slow. And I think his defensive stats aren't as good as Lamar Odom. So if you want, you can run Lamar at small forward. His three-point shot's decent. He's definitely not the best three-point shooter. But all around, defensive, clamps-wise, lane-wise, I'm a big lane steal guy. He's going to be up there. Um, next cards. That diamond filter is low-key deadly as hell. You're going to see the diamonds go up. Trust me. Trust me on that. Let's go over to Dwayne Wade, man. Dwayne Wade, at a point in time, was around 75K. There's one for 80K at a Diamond Gem Mint. That might be a... Oh, 82K, 81K. All right. So this one has a 9 Gem Mint and a shoe. Let's check out what the shoe is. It's a three-point shot shoe. This might be a good buy. I think I can sell this card for possibly 100K. It actually just got listed at 81,000 MT. And honestly, this might be a really good buy. I kind of do want to wait a little bit. But uh, definitely keep your eyes on Wade. Definitely keep your eyes on rare players, to be completely honest. Let's check out the pink diamonds, see if the pink diamonds are down in value. I know Ben Wallace is obviously going to be a buyout. Is Ben Wallace worth investing in? Well, I'm going to tell you that right now. So Ben Wallace, pink diamond, absolutely clams on defense. His offensive game is pretty trash other than dunking and post hooks. But defensively, he's going to absolutely clamp the middle. Like, absolutely clamp the middle. I honestly believe you get him for around 60-ish K, he's going to be a pretty good buy. Other than that, I don't see this card going up because he's really not too high. Even though he is a Hall of Famer, I just do not agree. I, I just don't believe this card has a lot of room to go up. People like shooting centers. I'd rather have my Carl Anthony Towns than this Ben Wallace. Even though this Ben Wallace is absolutely clamps. He's going to clog the middle. He's going to play absolutely amazing defense. It all depends. But, yo, that's that. Diamond. So... Keep your eyes on that. All right, so here comes the crazy investments. You might think I'm crazy, but this is going to be top investments. Ruby players. Ruby players are at around 1,000 MT. Maybe you should probably stay away from Kobe White, but I don't think you should. I think they're going to go up in value very quickly. This guy has really good stats out of Ruby. He has, like, really good stats. His Obviously, his perimeter defense isn't that good. Jabari Parker is really good as well. 
an absolute bunch of baller all around defensively pretty solid so honestly keep your eyes on this filter if anything other than kobe wire jabari parker does pop up you should probably buy them instantly but yo you could also invest in these cards they're also really good cards to invest in as well um so if you're into the investments off the rubies definitely try out this filter 950 maximum buyout it's gonna be absolutely perfect um let's check out some prices yo pink diamond let's see what's going on we got gilbert arenas at 110 paul pierce is up there at 195 this gilbert arenas is good deep one of they drop zion is this new zion am i going crazy why don't they drop a zion williamson or is that not zion and i'm just tweaking guys why don't they ever drop a zion i guess they dropped him in packs yesterday unless i'm literally bugging but this zion is honestly not good whatsoever um i mean his steal is terrible his defense is terrible and his shooting is terrible i mean i think zion should be a buyout those stats are absolutely terrible um that's the way i see it. i don't think he's worth anything more let's see listen i know it's zion he actually just got in the nba i do not believe that zion's a good buy whatsoever if you get him for 100k flat you're gonna lose mt he can't shoot well and he literally can't drive well and in this game if you're on an over an 83 point shot i have an uh, andrew wiggins diamond that i got for free he is absolutely terrible he's one of the worst players i actually use in 2k ever he actually blew me a game because he can't shoot open threes in the corner that got me pissed off. I'm actually going to bid on this. Hope for the best on that one. 50k bid on there. Um, but yo, keep your eyes on the market, man. I really don't like the I really don't like any of these players to invest in. I think I would stay away from the pink diamonds as of right now. Like I said, I think Amethyst is your best bet. There's a huge gap and, and they're affordable and they're honestly top players. Let's check out Porzingis. Porzingis is someone old. Everybody uses everybody uses Porzingis. What is he? Can he shoot threes well? Wow. Yeah, this Porzingis is really good. He's always good in 2K. Let's check out his price. See what we get him for. He's going to be a little pricey. Not going to lie. All right, so we got Kristaps Porzingis over here. Going for about 20-ish thousand MT. 20K, 20,500. We could get him for like 18, I believe. Let's see. Nine E. Wow, we get him for under 18. Let's see. Let me get him for 17 change. All right, so we got 17,950 there. We got 17,500. All right, guys. Keep your eyes on Przingis, all right? This car has an easy potential to go up. I just think you can get him for cheaper. You could probably get him for 15K easily on a snipe. Um, honestly, continuously check his bid as well. His bid is all over the place. You can make thousands and thousands of MT off this Przingis. But yo, guys, other than that, there's really not that much left. I'm just going to give you my top players. Przingis is definitely one of them. And maybe even Carl Anthony Towns. But yo, keep your eyes on the Diamond Filter. I think the Diamond Filter might be the most active filter in the game as of right now um literally it literally might be the most active filter in the game i guess lamar odom and antoine jameson are not rare whatsoever but uh yeah that's all we really got for the video i hope you guys enjoyed i don't really have any mt to pop packs so uh yeah that's gonna be it boys i love you all have a good one peace